All right, guys, so I have been requested to beat 1127. As you guys can see in front of you, this is the team that I have actually used already to beat 1127. And the team that the owner was actually using was this team, all right? It was actually taking out uh, Sorbet, and it was this team right here. This is the team that they were using, all right? They were using the Caramel Arrow strat that I shared with you guys previously, but the main problem with this team was that Caramel Arrow was not the highest attacking cookie. So a lot of you guys might still be struggling in this stage because of the fact that Raspberry Cookie is jumping the wrong cookie, all right? Or, you know, your damage or your healing is just not there okay but the main problem is probably because raspberry cookie is dashing at the wrong cookie or the cookie that you are not intended uh, for her to jump at okay the biggest problem was eclair was the highest attacking cookie so when i first did it like this all right i used strawberry crepe okay because strawberry case was the uh highest level and then sorbet was also the second highest so this is the team that i use okay first strawberry crepe has fine solid almond so doesn't really matter what topping you use as long as strawberry crepe is there to tank for the team. Eclair, look at Eclair's topping. Two searing raspberry, two solid almond that's not even leveled up. It's like plus six. And then one rare uh, plus six, okay, slip chocolate. This is in order for Eclair to be the second highest attacking cookie and to make sorbet shark the highest attacking cookie all right and then i use cotton here i didn't change any topping for cotton and then parfait here again with a decent amount of damage this and cooldown all right treasures level three level three level 12 but it's still enough okay it's not very hard as long as you guys take my advice and actually practice it okay so let's go into the battle and let me show you exactly how i beat it okay so make sure make sure you need to have your sorbet or black raisin or whoever it is that you want the you know raspberry cookie to jump at to have the highest attack in your team so go to your cookie check the stats out see who the highest attacking cookie is because sorbet needs to be the one in order for raspberry to dash at sorbet and then for you to you know dodge some of the damage that she is going to inflict on your cookie Okay, if you don't do that, then you're never going to beat the stage, especially if you guys are lower level, because your cookies are not going to have good, you know, damage assist, defense, HP, whatever it is, because, you know, level 45, right? That's not, that's not high, okay? So, guys, you guys got to keep these things in mind when I, you know, go over it. Don't just watch it. Don't just skip it. Really listen and see what I'm trying to tell you, all right? So, there you go. I'm going to put it at one time uh, speed now. Right. First of all, I'm just going to use Cotton and Parfait, heal my cookies up. Obviously going to be using Eclair. That's the second skill that she's going to use. I'm going to use Strawberry Creep here. And then as she's about to dash, I'm going to actually let her dash at Sorbet, take a little bit of damage just to be 100% sure so that she doesn't dash at Eclair afterwards. Okay. So I can heal it right back up with our Strawberry Creep, uh, you know, giving that 50% damage resist. And then also Cotton and Parfait just healing it up for me as I go, right? So it's not that hard if you guys are able to really take advantage of the things that I'm telling you guys, okay? It's really simple nowadays, okay? It's, it's, there's a lot of different stages that are much harder than uh, Raspberry, especially if you guys, you know, have the cookies that like this, you know? Uh, the treasures are not even super high. The toppings are not like maxed out you know a lot of you guys complain and even on reddit i've seen a lot of posts telling you know sh telling people hey these youtubers are telling you guys to use maxed out cookie no you don't need maxed out cookie if you guys use the strategies that we have right so you guys can see none of my cookies died i didn't even use slingshot the feather didn't even pop there you guys go sorbet eclair strawberry crepe cotton parfait 40 47, 45, 47, 50. Not maxed out cookies, not maxed out promotion, except for Eclair in this case, okay? And their toppings are not top notch, okay? So I just want to make this video to make it clear to you guys that it is possible, okay? Use the strategies that we give you. We don't post it just so that you guys watch it and you know, you guys don't get any value out of it. I don't want that. I want you guys to get value out of these videos and learn how to do it but you know if you guys don't pay attention if you guys don't listen if you guys don't 
take advice, then it's not going to help anyone, right? So, hope you guys found the video helpful. Hope you guys are able to beat it. I do recommend you guys use Sorbet Shard Cookie if you guys have them because it's probably one of the easiest way to beat it because of the fact that the dodging kind of neglects a lot of the damage that Raspberry Cookie is able to do. You know, I don't recommend the Sea Fairy build if you guys don't have high damage resist toppings. Okay, just use this strategy. It's probably going to be the easiest one, although it may take a little bit of practice in the beginning, all right? So, five solid almonds, strawberry crate once again, like barely any cooldown. Uh, once again, Eclair, two searing raspberry, two solid almond, one swift chocolate. You can go with full swift chocolate too, as long as Eclair is not the highest attack. So, Shark needs to be the highest attack cookie in the team. And then, damage resist is definitely going to help out, just so that, you know, when they do take damage they can heal it back up really quickly and then right there two swift chocolate three solid almond for our cotton and then five swift chocolate for parfait good luck with 11-27 hope the video helps out just to let you guys know it does work with black raisin but i just don't recommend you level up black raisin because of the fact that sorbet it just puts more value in your team for other uh game modes like arena super mayhem cookie alliance and things like that but there you guys go good luck with 1127 and i'll see you guys all on the next one